Hello class. Today we are going to be counting money and I hope that you'll be able to say I can count pennies and nickels. Before we start counting with pennies and nickels, let's review. How much is a penny worth? You're right, it is one cent. How about our nickel? The one with the beaver on it. How much is that worth? That's right, it's five cents. So when we're counting nickels, we count by five. And we're, when we're counting pennies, we count by one. Here we have our nickels and pennies. Whenever we're counting them, it's good to separate them into groups so that we can count all of the same types of coins at the same time. Let's start by counting our nickels. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. There are 29 cents here. Let's look here. We already have our nickels and our pennies divided and we're going to count them. Remember, when we count our nickels, we count by five and when we count pennies, we count by one. Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. We have 44 cents. Let's try counting these. Count with me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. There are 39 cents. Did you notice when we were counting, I moved the coins just a little bit so we knew which coin we were counting? It's very helpful if you have real money in front of you that you touch or move each coin just a little bit so you know which ones you've already counted. Oh, this should be easy. There aren't many coins here. Let's count them together. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 cents. Well done. Oh, this is a lot more. Let's count this together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52. That's 52 cents. Have you noticed that when I'm counting my money, I have them in some nice lines? I find that it's so much easier if I put my money in lines when I'm counting it. When we're counting pennies and nickels, we need to remember that pennies have maple leaves on them. A penny is one cent. And when we count pennies, we count by one. Nickels have beavers on them. A nickel is five cents. When we count nickels, we count by five. Our learning goal for today was I can count pennies and nickels, and I know that you are going to do a wonderful job. I can count pennies and nickels. How about you? Today, I would like for you to practice. Could you get a little pile of money and count some pennies and nickels? Don't forget to separate your pennies and nickels and maybe put them in lines and move them just a little bit so you remember which ones you've counted. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.